Did that. So you're gonna go to the third room on the left. What is this, 21 questions, Brandy? <laughs> Did everyone else get this many questions? Oof. I would summarize this year, probably it's just a whirlwind. Like, I feel like we went in every direction possible. Busy, exciting, hectic, fun. This year was really, really good. It was just a lot of learning opportunities, getting a lot of hands-on experience with world-renowned physicians and being able to pick their brains. It's fast-paced, just active, always learning something, always doing something, always going to the next clinic and working with a lot of different people. The year was great. Definitely came in with a lot of expectations and I feel like I did a lot more than I ever thought I was gonna be able to. Constant learning experiences and learning opportunities that happen on a daily basis. It's a very open environment where you can always ask questions. I think I was the only one who hadn't stepped foot in an OR before coming here. The first time I got to scrub in was definitely one of the most exciting moments. First time I was in the OR was with uh, Dr. Armando Vidal. Seeing the surgeries that are very routine to him uh, were very eye-opening to me. I was so nervous that I was gonna mess something up, but I really enjoyed it. In the clinic, I was with Dr. Godin, and I had this patient, I came out and I was like, it's ACL root tear, and he's like, oh, you, you know everything now? <laughs> but I was right, so. <laughs> the MD fellows are a phenomenal source of information and education and just clinical or surgical tidbits. Simon literally has been the best teacher this whole year. He's like literally taught me everything. I feel like he'll just like grab me and be like, hey, look at this. Vail's a really cool place to live. I really enjoy doing a lot of outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and skiing. Megan taught us the very first day and me and Kate were unable to get down the mountain at first. Yay! When Jen Chuck had to ski underneath my legs because I couldn't physically stop her fast enough. It was a great time. I love it now. I can't wait to go back. I was so sad on my last day of skiing. My advice for the incoming class would be to be open to whatever opportunities you have here. Try absolutely everything. Just give it your all. You'll be surprised on how much you can grow. Even if you're tired, go out and do stuff. I would kick myself in the but if I didn't go out and do activities every single weekend. I'd just like to thank Brandy for giving me this opportunity. Miss Brandy, definitely Brandy. She's great this year and really took care of us. To my class of AT residents, I'm excited for all the new opportunities you're moving into, all your different positions, and I know you're gonna crush it. Uh, thank you all for being my friend. <laughs> I think brought out the best in me and I think I did the same thing with them. It was definitely an awesome experience just to be able to be here with them. They're the six of the closest friends that I ever had and I'd always cherish our friendship and I hope no matter where we end up, we'll always stay close. I've directly seen a lot of my classmates' confidence grow. I can see it both in their body language and in just how they speak to patients and we've all really increased our knowledge in orthopedics to say the least.